The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and in this video, we're going to conduct a performance evaluation of what is now the largest boat in Boston Whaler's Conquest lineup, the 405 Conquest. She's a spacious, dual personality boat that can go after fish offshore or take a family of six on an extended vacation. Let's start with her performance. The 405 Conquest has a length overall of 41 feet 4 inches, a beam of 13 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 2 feet 7 inches. She has an empty weight of 24,518 pounds, and with 450 gallons of fuel, 90 gallons of water, 35 gallons of diesel fuel for the generator, 3 people and test equipment on board, we had an estimated test weight of 31,622 pounds. Our test boat was powered by quad 400 horsepower Mercury supercharged 4-stroke outboards. Winding up the quartet of motors to 6,100 RPM, we hit a top speed of 52 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 4,500 RPM, where we measured 32.8 miles per hour and burned 52.7 gallons per hour. This gave us 0.6 miles per gallon and a range of 336 statute miles, with 10% of the boat's 600 gallon fuel capacity held back in reserve. Minimum planing speed was 12.6 miles per hour. At 600 RPM, the boat ran 3.6 miles per hour and burned 2.5 gallons per hour, giving the boat a rating of 1.4 miles per gallon. Bumped up to 1,000 RPM, the speed goes up to 6 miles per hour with a fuel burn of 4.4 gallons per hour and the same miles per gallon rating. In acceleration tests, the 405 Conquest planed in 4.7 seconds. She ran through 20 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds and through 30 miles per hour in 12.9. In maneuvers, she handled really well. She crisscrossed our photo boat's wakes with ease and showed impressive agility and tight turns for a boat of her size. When the time came to pull into the slip, the port joystick and opening side door came in handy. Now let's check out the 405 Conquest's helm. Starting at the top of the console, there's a USB and auxiliary plug, 12 volt and two more USBs, plus an inductive charger for a mobile phone. Our test boat had optional twin 19-inch Raymarine multifunction displays, 16-inch units are standard. Above are accessory switches, AC vents, and the compass is in line with the tilt stainless steering wheel. To the left side of the wheel are the Fusion Apollo stereo, the Mercury vessel view screen, and the spotlight control. Opposite to the right are the ignition and trim tab buttons, and just aft are the digital shifts and throttles and the Mercury joystick piloting system. With these optional full side windows, an opening section allows the operator to view the whole side of the boat while using the joystick, and even grab a line to secure it to the cleat that is in reach. In the port console, a companion can keep track of the course on a 24 inch multifunction display. If the captain is coming into a dock port side too, he can open the window and use the second joystick that's hidden in the dash. There's another set of plugs and a phone charger on top of the port console. We can make our way forward on the side passageways. There are stainless steel rails in reach on the deck and on the pilot house. The foredeck is equipped with a Lumar windlass with a 10 inch cleat alongside for securing the road. Outboard on each side are pull up cleats sockets for the bow shade, and alongside the windlass is access to the road locker. Checking out the 405 Conquest stern is easy thanks to the transom door to starboard. There's a narrow walking space forward of the splash well and small swim platforms outboard on each side. To starboard is a four-step ladder in its own locker. Rigging for the motors looks clean and there's an inspection hatch forward of each one. The main distribution panel is below decks in the cabin and access to the mechanical equipment is provided by raising the large in-deck hatch in the center of the cockpit. Highlights of this compartment include the 15KW Fisher Panda Generator, which is an upgrade to the standard 12KW and required with the addition of the Seakeeper 6 Gyro Stabilizer located opposite. Fuel water separators for the motors are outboard to starboard with the battery chargers just ahead. Strainers and bilge pumps are ahead of the generator. The 405 Conquest was such an impressive boat to be on, and she handles with excellent characteristics that we've come to expect from the brand. Literally nothing disappoints. Inside, there are new features at every turn, but that's covered in another video, be sure to look for it. Overall, she carries the same lines and styling that has come to define the brand. So good looking, in fact, that even the Coasties wanted a closer look. Really. 
And that's my full test and performance evaluation of the all-new 405 Conquest from Boston Whaler. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.